The UK's $125 billion HS2 railway project has been in constant debates and discussion since its announcement. The project aims to revolutionize the country's transport network from London to various northern regions of England, and it has made some surprising recent progress. Here's the latest update as it moves to its next phase in 2025. The UK's vision behind the High Speed 2 railway has been bold and ambitious. When fully operational, this billion-dollar railway project is expected to cut down the hours of journey between major cities. This reduced travel time will boost economic growth in the country and provide the country a modern transportation system. What makes this project so important? High Speed 2 Railway is probably the biggest infrastructure project of the United Kingdom in years. HS2 was meticulously planned to construct a high-speed mode of transportation that will connect the City of London with cities like Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, and other English cities. The high-speed rail spans a whopping 230 kilometers with double tracks that will allow the train to operate at a constant speed of 330 kilometers an hour and a maximum speed of 360 kilometers an hour, providing high-speed and efficient travel. The HS2 railway project can help in the country's evolution by boosting development and economic growth in less connected areas. The reduced travel time between major cities would generate new opportunities, attract international investments, and boost job creation in the country. The biggest positive of this project is that it will bridge the gap between the north and south of the UK. Even though the vision behind HS2 is clear and very ambitious, the road leading to its completion certainly has some bumps. Ever since it was first started in 2017, the project has faced several setbacks. The biggest hurdle in HS2's way is the insanely high cost. The cost of this railway line was initially projected to be around £50 billion, but as time went by, the project is estimated to cost over £125 billion. This massive cost increase has raised concerns about whether the country actually needs such an expensive project. Several economists and experts believe that this amount could be spent in various different ways and may have better benefits. However, some believe that the project would be worth its investment. The HS2 project started in 2017, and its construction was expected to start in the early 2020s. But due to the pandemic, along with legal, planning, and environmental concerns, the project was delayed. The construction finally began in September 2020 and is still under construction. Throughout its construction, there have been several calls regarding the project's cancellation or scaling down. Despite these challenges, the government stayed committed towards their decision of building the HS2 high-speed railway. Supporters of the project believe the project has great long-term benefits, which could easily outweigh the short-term costs we'll face. As of 2025, HS2 has entered into a new development phase with certain milestones. The construction we started several years back has yielded some great results. Phase 1 of the project that will connect London to Birmingham is in full swing and is expected to complete by the end of this decade. Stations are one of the key elements of HS2. These stations will be designed as futuristic transportation hubs that won't only act as a center of high-speed trains, but will connect multiple modes of transport like trains, local buses, and metro systems. Out of the 10 key stations, the London station of HS2, known as Old Oak Common Station, is already under construction in West London, and it will serve as one of the main terminals of the HS2 project. The station would have a massive 14-platform capacity, which will allow the station to handle millions of passengers each year. By 2025, the platform construction of this station will begin, which is a critical phase in the project. Another key station of the HS2 project is the Solihull Interchange Station, which is located in the West Midlands near the Birmingham Airport. This station is a key part of the project because it can link the high-speed network to local transport services like buses and West Midlands Metro. Solihull Interchange Station's construction will begin shortly in the coming months. The biggest update as of now is the completion of the Chiltern Tunnel. This tunnel is 10 miles long and would pass through the Chiltern Hills, which is an important route connecting the northern areas. The North Holt Tunnel, spanning 8.4 miles and connecting West London and the West Midlands, is over halfway completed. Similarly, the 3.5-mile Bromford Tunnel, connecting northern regions and West Midlands, is completed halfway as well. 
These tunnels are crucial as they'll ensure HS2's efficiency and speed. They're expected to complete by 2025, which is a big step towards the project's completion. With HS2, the UK government's heavily prioritized passenger comfort. The team behind this project designed detailed mock-ups that prioritized efficiency, accessibility, and passenger comfort inside the train. These mock-ups were then tested by the public, and upon feedback, certain changes were made to ensure that the people traveling in HS2 have ample legroom, comfortable seats, and world-class amenities to make their trips memorable and comfortable. Another aspect which the team put great emphasis on is accessibility. They designed the interior in such a way that people with disabilities have a comfortable trip. Sustainability is another aspect that HS2 would have great emphasis on. The train's interior is expected to have energy-efficient designs, with eco-friendly materials to prioritize sustainability. Throughout the construction, the plan to protect biodiversity, use recycled materials, and minimize carbon emission to keep the environment safe. Water management systems and green landscaping around the stations will be constructed to support sustainable travel. HS2 goes beyond transport. It's a great way of stimulating regional economic growth in the less urbanized areas. Construction of new stations like the Manchester Interchange Station and Curzon Street Station in Birmingham City will not only generate employment but would also boost tourism and businesses in the area. The reduced travel time and seamless connectivity through HS2 will make it easy for people to travel between cities in record time. Constructing such a high-scale railway line surely comes with its challenges, and for HS2, that was its environmental impact. A railway line of such massive scale needs massive amounts of land and infrastructure, which is why critics have raised their concerns. They believe that it would damage the country's natural landscape and would strip the wild animals of their natural habitat. The team behind HS2 realized this concern and has taken several extensive environmental management initiatives to minimize its impact. The team is practicing sustainable construction processes and is focusing on reducing carbon emissions in the operation of the railway. For instance, the construction team used eco-friendly materials and technologies like recycled materials, low-carbon concrete, and energy-efficient HVAC systems to maximize sustainability. If that isn't enough, HS2 is committed to what integrative wildlife corridors and green spaces along the railway lines to compensate for the lost habitats of wildlife. HS2 isn't stopping there with our sustainable practices, as they're experimenting on unique ways to make the trains more eco-friendly. The HS2 trains will be powered by electricity from renewable sources like solar power to minimize carbon footprint. This goes in line with the country's broader goal of reducing carbon emissions to zero by 2050. We've talked about some of the negative impacts of the HS2 railway line, but let's switch it and talk about some of the positive impacts it would have, specifically on the UK's economy. According to experts, new high-speed railway life will have a profound impact on the economy and employment in the country. Birmingham and London in less than 40 minutes are fantastic marketing opportunities for us. Probably one of the most precious things our visitors and exhibitors are trading on is their time. The construction of HS2 is currently under process and it has already created thousands of jobs with people like construction workers, architects, technicians, etc. working on it. From logistics and transports to engineering and construction, professionals from all fields would benefit from this initiative. What happens when the project is finished? Well, upon completion, the project will open trade and business opportunities in lesser connected areas that will be accessible thanks to faster travel times and better connectivity. Businesses will have access to new markets and can create more jobs in those areas. Experts believe that HS2 would be a key driver of economic growth in those areas. HS2 represents a bold and ambitious chapter in the UK's rail history, a chapter that hasn't evolved much in recent years. This massive £125 billion project would surely live up to its potential and will transform the way people travel across the country. This project isn't just about fast travel speeds, it's about creating a sustainable and more connected future for the country. This is all a plan for the future, but the journey isn't easy from here and it isn't over yet. The UK's high-speed travel revolution is still in its early phases and it will take several years till it benefits unfold in front of us. Just like previous years, HS2 will face challenges, but the potential it has and the benefits it offers will be surely worthwhile. This project is the first step in the right direction, 
and it will potentially change the UK's rail system and most likely its economy. What do you think? Is the HS2 railway a waste of money and natural resources? Or will it transform the UK's rail system and economy? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.